progressing our scapula car. So a scapula car is about all the shoulder blades. So we want to just feel our shoulder blades moving. So a compensation from these ones will be either our elbows bending or something, or us once again dumping forward from the upper body or flexing from our back again. So we don't want to see that. We want to be really cautious of that. With a scapular car, I'm going to show it from this direction here. If we have pants on, whatever finger lands on the seam, nice straight arm, whatever finger you feel lands on the seam of your pants, that finger stays on that seam. It will go up and down the seam, but it will not go forward or backwards off the seam. It will stay exactly on that seam. So we are going to take our shoulder blades down, so that means trying to push those fingers as far down to the floor as much as possible with our shoulder blades. We're going down, and keeping that finger on that seam, we're going to pull our shoulder blades back towards the back wall as we keep them pulled down at the same time. Keeping them back, we are now going to bring our shoulder blades up into our ears, bringing that finger up the seam of those pants. Then we're going to keep them up and we're going to pull those shoulder blades forward, caving the chest in. The chest should be nice and caved in, it shouldn't be tensed. Then we're keeping it forward, we're dropping those shoulder blades and scapulas back down into the back pockets and we're pulling them back together. From here, you can relax. Now we're going to pull 